Hey boys and girls, here's a book called Flat Stanley and the Lost Treasure. Okay, here we go. Created by Jeff Brown. Stanley Lamchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Sometimes being flat was great, especially on trips. Stanley could fold himself up and get comfy anywhere. Stanley could roll himself up and catch a ride, too. I wouldn't mind a ride, grumbled Arthur. But being flat on the beach was a pain in the neck and the leg and the arm. Ouch, cried Stanley. That's the third time I've been stepped on today. Stanley brushed off the sand. Let's do something else, he said to Arthur. Want to go snorkeling? Sure, said Arthur. Stay in the cove, Mrs. Lampchop called. Okay, the boys agreed, pulling on their masks. Stanley splashed into the sea. Last one in is a rotten egg. No fair, said Arthur. You don't have to put on fins, Stanley grinned. It's not my fault I have I have them built in. Stanley's flat feet helped him swim faster than Arthur, but he didn't mind slowing down. There was so much to see. Stanley spotted a school of bright blue fish. Arthur pointed out a stingray. Hey, it's flat like you, he tried to say, but it sounded like blah, 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 blah. A small silver dolphin zipped past Stanley. It whirled around and swam back, so close he could almost touch it. Swish! The dolphin raced ahead again. It looked back at the boys as if it wanted them to come along. Stanley looked at Arthur. Arthur nodded eagerly. The boys kicked hard and followed the dolphin to the end of the cove. Below them, the ocean floor dipped. There, nestled on the bottom, lay an old ship. The dolphin dived down. The boys took deep breaths and dived too. They couldn't believe what they saw. The ship's sails were torn. Its nests were tangled. But in the middle of the wreck sat a chest of gleaming gold. Stanley kicked back to the surface. Arthur's head popped up next to him. Did you see that? Arthur cried. Let's grab a bunch of gold. We'll be rich. Hold on, said Stanley. That treasure must belong to somebody. Let's take one piece to show everyone. Then we'll figure out what to do. Okay, said Arthur. Just then, a wave slapped. S slapped Stanley, then another. It's getting choppy, he said. I think it's going to storm. Wait here, Arthur. I'll hurry and get the gold. Stanley dived to the ship again. He picked up a gold bar. It was the size of a candy bar, but much heavier. He slid it into the pocket of his trunks. Stanley was about to head back up when he saw the dolphin. Its tail was caught in an old fishing net on the ship. I've got to help, thought Stanley, before we both run out of breath. Quick, Stanley rolled himself up. He tried to slide through a hole in the net, but something got stuck. The gold bar! Stanley yanked it out of his pocket and tossed it away. Now Stanley fit easily into the net. He used his flat fingers to pry the rope off the dolphin's tail. The little dolphin was free. Seconds later, Stanley burst out of the water. He took a big gulp of fresh air. Beside him, the dolphin whistled softly. You're welcome, said Stanley. Stanley, yelled Arthur. Help! The water wasn't just choppy now. 
The wind was whipping it into wild waves. Jump on, Arthur, Stanley called. He threw himself on a wave like a surfboard. Woo-hoo, cried Arthur. The boys rode the waves all the way to shore. By morning, the storm had passed. Stanley and Arthur took their parents to see the shipwreck. It was here. Really, said Stanley. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop peered into the water. The bottom of the cove was empty. No ship in sight. Not a trace. Perhaps the storm carried it away, said Mrs. Lambchop kindly. But Stanley could tell she was doubtful. Too bad you didn't keep that gold, muttered Arthur. Then we'd have proof. Stanley heard a whistle. Hello there, dolphin, he called. The little dolphin whistled again. Then it flipped its nose. Something shiny flew through the air. Stanley reached out and caught it. Stanley smiled. Did someone say something about gold?